stable. Good evening. For me, Sitaram Yachuri was a friend who operated in the political system. When people look at politics from outside, it's not easy to see the dynamics that take place inside the political system. It's an unforgiving place, harsh place, uncomfortable place, and it brings out mostly the worst in people. It's rare that you see that politics brings out the best in a person. And I saw Mr. Yuchuri from the first day I started in my political journey. And I observed him quite carefully. And what I found was a person who was flexible, who listened, who even though he was on the opposite spectrum ideologically had the ability to understand where we were coming from and he also allowed us to understand where he was coming from. He was a bridge in a sense between certainly the Congress party and other parties in the India Gatpandan. There are people who are visible and they are up front, you see them. And then there is the glue that is not visible, that is hidden, but is actually what holds the structure together. And I would say Mr. Yochuri was such a figure who in the India Gadbandan certainly and the last uh, UPA Gadbandan held the architecture together. And he held the architecture together because he was flexible, because he listened and he didn't have the common traits that a lot of politicians have. Anger, aggression, arrogance. These things were missing and this is rare in our, in our work. So he was a friend. I dealt with him a number of times and I always noticed how the stress was countered with the cigarette. And this was always there. And I used to tell him, Yachuri ji, what is this? Why don't you get rid of this? And that I think is the only habit that probably he wasn't able to get rid of. He was also very close to my mother. And I would say they were even better friends than I was with him. And a few days ago, he came to meet my mother. And they were sitting there. And I saw Mr. Yochuri was coughing. And I realized that both of them have the same attitude when it comes to hospitals, which is that neither of them want to go to a hospital under any circumstances. I knew they were watching each other. So immediately I caught Mr. Yochuri. I said, Yochuri ji, you're going in the car. You're not going home. You're going to the hospital. And I ensured, I told my office people that, look, he has to go to the hospital. And he was smiling. He was still trying to say, no, I'm not going to go. But, and that was the last time I saw my friend. I came to the hospital again with the view of seeing him, but unfortunately, that never happened. There were two moments when I was thinking about Mr. Yuchuri and I was 
and I had no answer. One was when his son passed away and I picked up the phone and I didn't know what to say. I really just didn't know what to say and I called him and then I was silent on the other side because of what he was going through. Probably the hardest moment of his life. Uh, but then I met him a few days later and the same Mr. Yuchuri, tough, brave Mr. Yuchuri was back. And then the other time I didn't know what to say was when I was writing to his wife after he passed and I was trying to you know, I had got a draft. We get drafts of letters. And the draft just didn't fit. The draft, normally the draft fits. And this draft just didn't fit. I had to cancel out everything. And so I was thinking, what do I say to his wife who's going through such a hard time? And the only thing I could say is that he was a person you could trust. He was a person that you were sure, 100% sure that he wasn't compromised in today's situation where there are pressures, it's easy to get compromised, he was not compromised and whatever he did, he always did for the interest of our country. Every single time, his starting point and maybe, maybe my brothers in the left might not like it but his starting point was India. And that was the point from which he began. And of course, after that was his political ideology, his political conviction. But whenever he would speak to me about the BJP and the RSS, he didn't say, you know, they're doing this and they're doing that. He said, look, this is a danger to the country. What they're doing to our institutions, what they're doing to our structure, what they're doing to our education system is going to destroy India. And that's how he lived his life. I am very proud to have been a friend of his. Thank you.